Okay, hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be showing you how to close off a financial year or how to roll over to the next financial year. Now, this might be something that you sort of put off initially. You might think, oh, I don't really know what's involved with closing and rolling over a financial year and everything seems to be working, so I might just leave it as it is. And you can get aware of that for a while. But then down the track, you will get to a point where you'll have no choice, but you'll have to roll over the financial year if you want to keep running reports. So I'll show you what you mean. If we go to the reports module and we go to run a profit and loss. Now you can see the financial year here. It says this year, FY23, that's the 2022 slash 23 financial year. And you have a choice to do current year FY23 or next year FY24. So you can only run reports for two years in advance, essentially the current year and the year after. Now, if 2024 financial year comes along, what is going to happen is when you come into the reporting module, it will still say this year FY23, even though technically it'll be FY24. And then when you get into FY25, that's the 24-25 financial year, it'll still say this year is FY23 in here. And then because FY25 is not included here in the date range that the reporting model can look into the future for, you won't be able to run any reports for FY25, even if you are in FY25. So that's where it becomes a problem there. So at this point, you'll have no choice but to roll over the financial year. So I'm going to close out of here. And then we're going to go file, close a financial year. And then basically we go through a series of steps where Maya will ask us some questions and we just follow through the process. So it says, if others are using this company file, they need to close out now. So you make sure that you're the only one in the file while you're rolling it over. Yes, I'm the only user. And here we have the close a financial year assistant. Use the assistant to close the financial year. Your account balances and other details will be adjusted to reflect the closing of the year. So here they're talking about your yeah, retain earnings and things like that. When to close a financial year, you should only close a financial year after you have recorded all transactions for the year, your accountant has reviewed the data, you have entered any end of year adjustments provided by your accountant. So everything has to be done and dusted for the financial year and probably you want to have your tax returns and all your ATR reporting done so that you know that everything has been reviewed, finalized, reported and you're not going to need to go back and make any changes because it's going to be too late to go back and make changes after you do the rollover unless you reinstate a backup. Note, you don't need to close a financial year before you enter the transactions dated in the next financial year. So yes, as we we're looking at the reporting before, we can go forward two years, but anything after that we can't. So we go next, select the last month of the financial year. For most people, this will be June. And it says the next year will be 24, running from 1st of 7, 23 to 30th of the 6th, 24. So we'll go next. So if we just go back for a second, obviously you're not going to be doing this until you're into July, 2023. So you don't roll over the financial year until that year is finished. But for the sake of this example, even though it's now only November, 2022, at the time of recording this video, we're just pretending that we're actually into July of 2023 or later. So we're rolling over the new financial year. So we'll go next. Remove audit trail entries. If you use the audit trail feature, you can remove the audit trail entries. And it says you can remove audit trail entries recorded for the year you are closing. You should only do this if you're experiencing performance issues due to the company's file size. So what it does, it purges old entries if you are having performance issues with MyOps. So if it's running a bit slow and you don't want to carry too much data forward, you don't need to look at old data in detail anymore, then you might purge the audit trail entries or remove the audit trail entries is what they call it now. So basically your old data, if you do do this option, your old data will still be in the system, but you won't be able to drill down to the same level that you were able to before. So it's up to you whether you want to remove the audit trail entries or not. I'll leave it blank for this example. And we'll go next. Warning, this process cannot be undone, so you should back up your company file before continuing. 
you will need to restore the backup when you want to view information removed during this process. If you want to backup your file, you can do that now. So this is what I touched on before. If you rolled over a financial year and then you realize that, hang on, you actually had to go back and make changes, so you're a bit hasty in rolling things forward, you won't be able to do it. You can't go backwards, but you can reinstate a backup. And that's what you do here. So you reinstate a backup from the pre-rollover and you take it back doing it that way. So you click backup, you make a backup. We're not going to bother about that for this example, but it's a good idea to take a backup and then we're going to go close the financial year. The 23 financial year has been closed. Your current financial year is now 23 to 24. Okay, that looks good. We'll close that. Now we're going to go back to reports again. Now, if you remember before, we only had the opportunity to run reports for this year being FY23 and next year being FY24. Now, what should happen now, FY24 should be for this year and next year should be for FY25. So let's see if that's happened. Let's go to the profit and loss. So we got last year was FY23, this year FY24 and next year FY25. So before we didn't have an option to do a P&L for FY25. And that's exactly what we expected to see and that's what we've got. So that's pretty much it guys. It's not too hard. The main thing here is to always take a backup before you roll over a financial year. But you know, check with your accountant first before you roll it over. Make sure they're done doing everything they need to do. Uh, but then if you do happen to want to go back and reinstate a backup and uh, undo the rollover process, that can be done only if you have a backup in place. So it always pays just to have that backup there just in case. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching the video. If you want to see more on Myob, go check out our other videos. We've got a bunch of Myob videos there. If you want to book in a training session, head over to the link in the description to our website. Drop us an inquiry on our contact form there and we can set up a tailored training session for you or your workplace. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you later.